Hello student, uh, remainder theorem we have discussed in the chapters in the polynomial ok and what is the statement of the remainder theorems already we have discussed the remainder theorem is a very simple statement the remainder theorem is there uh, I already told you this if the remainder theorem I am talking about if x plus a divides divides p a ok then implies that what the remainder will here this then remainder is what then remainder r x is equal to p of minus a is that clear uh, the definition is quite theoretical it is, it is here so easily we cannot understand but we just can write here this uh, also example i am giving you that suppose that x plus 2 x plus 1 ok it divides divides uh, 3 x to the power 3 plus 4 x square plus 5 ok. Suppose this divide this is that clear. So, how can we obtain remainder? Remainder can be obtained here Sorry. remainder can be obtained here. What is the method that remainder can be obtained? 3 x to the power 3 and 4 x square plus 5 ok. By the division process here it we, we will divide it ok and do the procedure further end. and here we will obtain the remainder. But another method we have uh, learnt here what the method is there? The method is there in place of x we will put here this minus of 1 we will put here minus of 1. If minus of 1 we will put here then we will obtain the remainder. This is the remainder theorem we have learnt here in the chapter is that clear right now and later you may see in your NCRT textbook the question is there before you. You may see the question here example number 6 you may see divide this by this ok. So, we have done the division process you may see this is the division processes ok right now and in the division process we are obtaining the remainder here what the remainder is coming the remainder is coming plus 1 ok plus 1 is the remainder here ok. Again what we have done the later this is what this is a division algorithm is there you may see this this you already study in the previous classes I think right what is that if you will uh, wait a minute please if you will divide uh, you will divide p x you will divide p x by g x ok and then our remainder uh, terms comes here this is called co q of x and r of x is also this is called uh, divisor and this is called quotient and this is called remainder ok the three types of polynomials are here coming ok guys understood you. So, here look please whatever you have given here this you may see the term you have taken here this you may see this is what is there you may see this the polynomial this this is that the this polynomial is actually g x you may see and this polynomial is at p x you may see clear this is p x here right and this is coming here the remainder is that clear and where is q x and this coming q x is here ok right now. So, if we will substitute these value here in the place of this 3 x square then further the division algorithm will be verified ok. So, very uh, verification of the division algorithm is not your concern in discussing discussion concern of the discussion right now. Uh, here we talk to about to find out the remainder. So, the uh, theorem of ready made result you just may see here this is that division process again we have done here this ok. The division process ok you may see there is this and the division process that we have done here you may see yeah another. So, you may see example number 7 I am talking about the example number 7 divide 3 x to the power 4 minus 4 x cube minus 3 x minus 1 by x minus 1. So, remainder is what here coming 5 the remainder is coming 5 here clear and further another activity is there also we have done all these three questions we have done here clear and what the remainder is coming the remainder here is coming 0 clear. Further another method that we are discussing here this statement is said to be here look p x be a polynomial of any degree greater than or equal to 1 any positive degree of any real number p x divided by the linear polynomial his linear polynomial is there ok is about the linear polynomial. One of the student was asking me that sir if we will divide it by some other polynomial like that x square plus 2 x plus 1 this also work with that but he is talking about the linear polynomial is that clear what polynomial please tell me the linear polynomial is talking about we will remember please the linear polynomial clear guys. So, linear polynomial then what will happen that p x be a 
Px be a polynomial with degree this whatever is this here Px x minus a plus Qx. So this Q minus x is there. Okay, and further if we we'll solve, so what will be Rx? Here this is to prove here this. In place of that, P of x this is, and in particular case if x is equal to a, x is equal to a means in place of x we'll put here this. In place of x, if we'll put in place of x a, then what will a minus a zero? This term will become zero. Then R is equal to P x. It means that you will see how this is two. Okay, an activity is two there. Uh, I'm just calling here this uh, this relationship. I'm just talking about. Okay. This relationship I'm talking about. If this is to bring here that, okay, you may see this is to bring here that. In the place of that, okay, in place of this, in place of this, if I will write x is equal to a, right? So what shall it be? A minus a, and here will q x is also there. It's simple in activities there, and p of x is also there, okay? So a minus a, what shall be a minus a? Zero will here, and its q x is also there, and r x clear. And further is to be done. This whole becomes zero, and its R is also R X is also a polynomial. Right now, it's not a uh, means it, it it's not a real number here. It can be real number, but it's not uh, always zero plus R is R X is there. Right now, so in place of that, what you will write here? P of A will write here. It means that how can you find out the remainder? The remainder will be equal to if in the place of X, in the place of X, you will take A. And we are just dividing it by. We are just dividing it by. We are dividing it by x minus a. We are dividing it by x minus a. So we are putting x is equal to a. If we will divide it by x plus a, we will put x is equal to minus a. We can speak here simply. The sign of that is to be changed here. The sign of that is to be changed. Sign can be changed here. So understood here. This is the proof of the remainder theorem. We can understand. Okay. You just can write here the proof of the remainder theorem. Remainder theorem. Remainder theorem proof is there. Okay, right now the last time we have discussed this. So in these questionnaires which we have done already, these question we have done the question number eight example the remainder is coming uh, zero here the remainder is coming five and here the remainder is coming what the remainder is coming here the remainder is coming one. Okay, so plus one is coming the remainder. So we can perform this activity again. The remainder was coming here. Uh, there is remainder one is there. Okay, have a look. So we are just solving this aside. It okay? You may see that is how we are just solving it. Uh, so look that please. Uh, what is in place of this x is to be placed here? This is p of x. So p of x is what here? P of x is this I think. Okay. So in the place of that, what will put here in place of in place of x? What will put here? X plus a is dividing. So x is equal to minus will put here. Clear? So do solve please. So therefore, what shall be the remainder? Remainder R X is remainder R X is equal to P of minus one. So in the place of X, put this three of minus one square plus what next is there? And uh, minus one is also there and minus one. Further is to be solved here. Three and one will be there and minus one minus one is there also. Three one is three minus two. So what is coming? It is plus one is coming here. You may say the remainder plus one is. This is same is occurring here. Clear? It means that this is the remainder theorem here. If we will divide any polynomial by other polynomial, so this is a linear polynomial. What polynomial? Please tell me linear. Okay, guys. Also, I can do here this. So please, in this uh, polynomial, in this polynomial, what we will find out the remainder can be obtained by p of one. P of one will be the remainder here. So remainder will p of one. Remainder r x is equal to Remainder r of x is equal to p of one. You may see this. Further, in place of this three into one whole to the power four minus four one whole to the power three minus three and one is there also. One and later minus four is there. To solve this, please one one four time will give you one four time three three into one and four into one also there and three into one and what next? Minus four is also there, and further to the three minus four minus three minus four. Is that clear? Now? So we'll simply can speak here this. You may see three into four, three x. Oh, sorry. At the last, there is one. Okay. So here is to be one here. Here is to be one here. Okay. Uh, now next is uh, minus one. Okay, minus one. 
it is minus 1, it is minus 1. This is also minus 1. Is that clear? So, what will be it is 3 here it shall be minus 4, 3 minus 4 and minus 4. What shall be it is 3 minus 8. What will come here? Minus 5. This is remainder. You may see the remainder, this remainder is same here. Okay? Means this is the remainder theorem. So, we have discussed so far about the remainder theorem. Is that clear guys? Understood you? Now, another theorem just we are going to discuss here. Where is that? The statement of the remainder theorem we also have proved here. Now, the question number 9. What the question number 9 is there? Find the remainder when this is divided by x minus 1. So, in place of x minus 1 is being. So, what will be remainder here? P of plus 1. Where the polynomial? This is the polynomial. Okay, We obtain here 2. So, here being asked to find out the remainder, it is not saying to use any specified method here, the remainder theorem the, or the uh, division process, but which method you will employ? You will employ an easy sum method, which is very easy to use here. Is that clear right now? So, there is before you some more questions to be modified here. The question is check whether polynomial q t 4 t q plus 4 t square minus t minus 1 is multiple of 2 t plus 1 multiple of 2 t plus 1. So, what is the meaning of the multiple? I am telling the meaning of the multiple. Suppose that you are just dividing 9, okay, you are dividing 9 by 2, you are dividing 9 by 2, then what you will obtain? Please tell me, what you will obtain? The 2 will go in that 4 time and here is 8, 1 is left here. So, what the remainder is? R is not coming 0 here, R is not coming 0. If R is not coming 0, then we will not speak to if we will divide 9 by 3. So, what shall come here? 3 3 times it will go here, it is what 0 is occurring here, right. So, if 0 is occurring, it means what? Uh, simply further can be done as the as here you may see. So, what there is r is equal to 0. So, we speak 3 is a factor of 9 or we can speak 9 is multiple of 3, right. So, same will work with the polynomial also. Is that clear? In this case, in this case, here you may see, if we will divide, if this x plus 1 will divide p of x, will divide p of x and the question whatever will come here, but if the remainder is coming 0, the remainder is coming 0, this remainder is coming 0, if the remainder will come 0, then what? Then x plus 1, x plus 1 is a factor, is a factor of p x or also we can speak here this p x is a multiple a multiple of x uh, sorry a multiple of x plus 1 the same questionnaire is being asked. So, this is working this is working in this division process. So, will it work with that of course, if it is true here then remainder is 0 here. So, how the remainder theorem can be used here? So, remainder theorem can be used here that okay, look here this 2 t plus 1 you may see. 2 t plus 1 is there, 2 t plus 1 is to be taking equal to 0 okay? and therefore, t is equal to the problem uh, the situation is there this polynomial is being divided by 2 t plus 1. So, what you how you will find out the remainder? So, remainder how can be calculated? So, remainder can be calculated in this manner look uh, p of something is equal to remainder. So, what is to be put in this place? Obviously, if it is divided by x plus a, so you can put here minus a, but it is being divided by 2 t plus 1. So, it is simple it is to method uh, that is uh, to use the value of t here. So, this polynomial is before you, you may see this, this is to be taken as a 2 t plus 1 is equal to 0. So, t is equal to minus 1 divided by 2. So, always when any polynomial is being divided by uh, by other polynomials. So, first you have you just want to find out the variable the real number which is equal to numerical uh, the sorry is variable. So, how can you obtain that value? So, this uh, divisor to be equated divisor to be equated to 0 and later to obtain the value of domain. Okay? This is simple method to obtain this. So, here is before you we are to checking this here. So, what is that minus of? So, we are finding here this minus right now in the place of that we have plus minus half here minus half here minus half here minus half and we have solved this obtaining remainder is 0 coming. If the remainder is coming 0 then this is that. Okay? So, this numerical we already have solved find the remainder. Okay? Remainder is to be found out here this this questionnaire you may say here this 
remainder is to be found here x plus a so in place of x you have put this is this all i have given as a home assignment now today the factorization of the polynomial was the topic here right so what we can understand here this in that the polynomial i am talking what the remainder theorem is there there is before you remainder theorem this is the remainder theorem the remainder theorem you may see what is that i am telling okay the remainder theorem is there so what is that p of x okay is equal to p of x is equal to g of x into q of x plus r of x they all are polynomial okay so if r of x r of x is coming zero so by substituting here zero what we will obtain p of x is equal to it is g of x into r of sorry um, into into q of x plus 0. So, 0 plus something it is a 0 again here q and there is this also is that clear. So, what is coming this now later these two are coming here in the uh, arithmetic you have studied about like 6 can be factorized as 2 into 3, but what is coming here means 2 divides 6 3 is coming here or also we can write down here this 18 that is here uh, we can just write here that 2 into 9 is also there ok. 2 divide 18 what comes here 9 and the remainder comes here what 0 obviously certain can be taken here 7 also here it divide 3 what shall give me this. So, 2 divides 27 what comes here 0 again. So, in all the 3 cases the remainder is coming 0 it is a uh, uh, I think here it here 0 will come 0 will come 0 will come what does this mean it means this 6 can be explited into the 2. 2 into 3, 6 is equal to 2 into 3, right. 2 and 3 both are the factor here. It means 0 remainder theorem can also be used to find its factorization. So, this will also imply for a polynomial, right now. The polynomial can be replaced here. You may see there is this, okay. This is if remainder here the remainder is coming 0, here the remainder is coming 0, okay. The remainder is 0 here. It means these two polynomial is the are the factor of this is dividing completely and this is dividing completely. Means we can speak here g x is a factor of a factor of what please tell me uh, is a factor of what uh, p of x or also we can speak here p of x is a multiple of is a multiple multiple of what x plus a or g x is that clear or not understood you this. So, it is a factor theorem if it means that if x plus a. So, we can speak here p of a is equal to 0 then x minus a is a factor ok. p of a is 0 then implies that x minus is a factor p of minus a is a 0 then we will speak here x uh, plus a is a factor ok. Uh, simply it is and p of uh, what we will speak something else is to be 0. So, this statement is said to be a factor theorem. So, what do you understand by the factor theorem and what is a factor theorem? So, this statement is a factor theorem here ok. The, from there the factor theorem will, will uh, to start here this. this is a factor theorem factor theorem. What is the statement of the factor theorem? A statement of the factor theorem let let what will here let x is equal to a ok be a real number be a real number there is some real number this is a some real number such that or also uh, p of a is equal to 0 that implies that x minus a is a factor is a factor of is a factor of p x this statement is said to be factor theorem is that clear there is a certain number real number in place of x for a polynomial if we will find out a value so, the value of polynomial for x is equal to a 0 then x minus a is a factor. This is called factor theorem is called the factor theorem. Mm, we will remember the factor theorem here ok statement of the factor theorem please you may note down this. Now, look the next. So, here is x mine whether you need to x mine here this 
there is examine whether x plus 2 is a factor of this and this. So, what in place of x what we will put minus 2 we will find out a 0 will come here. So, same we has done here is 0 is coming here and in this also this is the first polynomial this is the second polynomial we can give name it is a sub p uh, so we can give the other name also to be given in this this polynomial can be given as the name uh, f of x f of x. So, f of this is f of ok. So, what you have found out first you found p of what minus 2 and to be solved here and second f of minus 2 and there is to be solved here ok. So, both are coming here 0 if they are coming 0 then by the factor theorems they are the factors of this clear yes understood you this is the factor. Now, some application questions are here find the value of k another question is there find the value of k find the value of k for if x minus 1 is a, a factor of 4 x cube 3 x square minus 4 x plus k it is this here it is already given here factor means not need to prove this is a factor here. So, what is the method here to prove it is very simple I am telling this ok have look this next please. So, what is that it is a simple I am telling this ok have look this. Uh, since solution method technique of writing solution okay question number 12 uh, since what is here p of x what is p of x you may see p of x 4 x cube minus uh, sorry plus 3 x square and minus 4 of x and plus k is there also okay so you need to write here since x minus 1 is a factor is a factor of p x it is already given that this is a factor x minus 1 is a factor of p x therefore, p of what plus 1 is equal to what will be is equal to uh, 4 minus 1 of 4 to the power 3 plus 3 into minus 1 of that here square excuse me guys we not have to prove is a factor it is already given the factor. So, if it is already given the factor then ready made this can be employed here therefore, therefore p of minus 1 is equal to 0. So, p of minus what is p of minus 1 4 1 whole to the power 3 plus 3 into 1 square minus 4 into 1 and plus k is equal to 0. This is a typical equations is coming here you may see is a an equation is coming in occurring here. So, 4 4 cancel and there k plus 3 is equal to 0 and k is equal to minus 3. So, it is a simple here k is equal to minus 3 means for k is equal to minus 3 this will be factor here clear the answer is coming same here you may see clear guys. So, these are the variety questions here that we can use to uh, solve the uh, questionnaires here understood you guys right now see the next also what the next question is here. Uh, so, uh, we just need to find out the factorization also we will discuss here got it you. So, factor theorem can be used here further to find out it is a factor ok is that clear understood you what is the factor theorem you may see the numerical question here how is to be done the numerical questions you may see here what type of numericals will come exercise 2.4 what typical questions are there determine the first question you may say determine whether which of the following polynomial is x plus 1 is a factor. So, how many questions are there is question 1, question 2, question 3 you have to determine determine the meaning of determine means we have to check whether it is a factor or not. So, in this x in place of x we will put minus 1 in place of we will put x minus 1 in place of that in all that here and we will solve them and after this solving we will obtain p of minus 1 is equal to 0 and when it is 0 is occurring it means that these are the factors ok guys understood you I hope you can solve these questionnaires. Also use the factor theorem to determine whether g x is a factor factor theorem is to be used yeah here you may see in this case what you will put in place of x what you will put x is equal to minus 1 in place of that what we will put here x is equal to minus 2 in place of the x is equal to x is 3 also is that clear guys right now. So, you will solve this. Now, another question is also there find the value of k if x minus 1 x minus 1 is a factor is ok 
x minus 1 is a factor. How can you find its factor here? Very simple it is. The method I have solved here, the, the, this question is to be solved by this, the method I employed here this. So, you will write, you will write here p x, you will write here p x be that, okay? p x be a polynomial here before you, clear? And what? p x be a polynomial and it is saying that, in a saying that, x minus 1, x minus 1 is a, here your line will be there, okay. x minus 1 is a factor of x, therefore, therefore, what you will write here, therefore, therefore, p of minus 1 is equal to 0. So, here you will write p of minus 1 is equal to 0, clear and you to be solved here this like I am bringing k, you will bring here this k, is that clear? And even questions, I am just making the solution here. Can you understand this here, just like that, the second questions I am solving here, okay. This second question I am solving, okay. Uh, what is it saying here? Second question, since what the statement is to be written here, first is to be write down here p of x polynomial. What is p of x? It is a 2 x square and plus uh, k of x and plus root 2 is also. What is it saying here? Since x plus 1 minus 1 minus 1, okay. x minus 1 is a factor, is a factor of p x ok. Therefore, what shall be therefore? p of plus 1 will be equal to 0. So, what is p of 2 of 1 square and k 1 is there also plus root 2 is equal to 0. To solve this 2 1 is 2 and k plus root 2 is equal to 0 ok. Next step, the solution steps to be written very clearly and 2 plus root 2, it is a number cannot be added as ok and has to be changed as k or also this to be changed here. So, k is equal to what k is equal to minus of 2 plus root 2. So, this will be the factor of that, this will be the factor of that for x what for k is equal to minus 2 plus 2, is that clear? The method I have solved here, you will employ this here, your assignment of the day that you have to solve, uh, what the assignment you have to do, I am telling this the assignment that you have to do and we will follow the procedure ok. The question number uh, second of that here, sorry second I told you this and you have to solve the question number, uh, question number fourth, fourth is to be done by you and uh, third is also to be done by you, this three questions please note this, uh, page number you may see, what the page number is, page number no exercise it is 2.3 I think, yeah 2.4, 2.4 question number three uh, assignment here home assignment 2.3 exercise ok, question number, question number and 3, uh, 3 uh, first and uh, third and fourth, so yeah, third I told you this ok, this is your home assignment. Now again you also to be uh, solved here question number 1 of that ok, right. Now the next topic factorization we are discussing here. So, what the topic is factorization of, I am telling the factorization. you see the factorization we are talking about. Some other questions are there to factorization. Factorization. Yeah. We are just discussing here the factorization. Factorization. What is the meaning of factorization? The meaning factorization just I told you the 6 is equal to 2 into 3. When splitting a composite into simpler is called the factorization. Same is done in the case of in the case of polynomial ok. So, here let p x be a polynomial ok and this is divided by g x another polynomial is coming here the name of the polynomial is what the name of the polynomial is q x ok and so these two polynomials is to be splitted here this. So, these are called the factor factor 1 and factor 2. So, uh, factorization of quadratic we are just talking here. So, factorization in your course is of two type ok factorization factorization 
factorization can be of two type first is by a uh, middle term splitting middle term splitting splitting and second algebraic formula algebraic formula algebraic formula by using algebraic formula we will do this okay there are the two method to use the factorization so by middle term splitting method especially we will do for quadratic polynomial quadratic polynomial do you know quadratic polynomial quadratic polynomial what is a quadratic polynomial the polynomial with degree 2 is said to be quadratic polynomial so we are discussing method 1 middle term splitting okay so how can we use the middle term splitting method for the process of factorization so i'm just taking here one of them here okay so solving the power question number 4 of first of the four since px is what is px you may see px is what 12 x square minus 7 x plus 1 this is a polynomial okay. i'm telling this the standard polynomial is what a x square plus b x plus c this is the coefficient of x coefficient of x square x and constant term okay so middle term splitting what is the meaning middle term the middle term is there minus 7 its coefficient is 7 so middle term splitting how the method works here we are just doing an activity this activity just we are doing so you just have to take 12 and 1 okay so 12 and 1 this is to be multiplied what is coming it's 12 is coming okay so this can be further broken into 3 into 2 into 2 into 1 also there okay these are all the factors of 12 clear so we are just bringing the two factors we are bringing this two factors two factors it means from these four factors we will make the two factors just like two twos are what here four and three one is three and the two factors we are making which is the uh, multiple of uh, factors of 12 if we will add them three plus four then this is coming 7 it means their product is coming 12 or their uh, what is it, their sum is coming here 7 so look at this the product is here 7 and their sum is coming 7 so we can just write here this uh, we just can write here uh, listen again this guys what i'm saying it to we just can write here that the last uh, uh, we just can speak in this you may see this all here guys okay so what i'm talking about here too so this this is that here this 12 or it's a 1 okay so this can be broken into the two terms such that their sum and product be 0 3 plus 4 the 7 can be broken here okay and here plus 1 or here 12 of x square you may see this is okay so this due to this is called the middle term but if i would say you to break the 7 as a uh, as a middle term is splitting then how can you arrange the 7 some people will uh, say sir 6 plus 1 can be written some say 2 plus 5 can be written some say 3 plus but what exactly we'll find out what uh, in what factors to be broken this okay so this is to find out by uh, it means the number which you are breaking the middle terms this comes from the factor of product of uh, this 12 into 1 and further this can be done as a 12 of x square minus 3 of x and minus of 4 of x and plus 1 this step is said to be a checker step what is called checker step you may see in the checker step you may see it's a 12 coming positive okay it's 12 coming positive it's negative it's negative it's positive means 2 positive and 2 negative will come here if this is not coming means 2 positive 2 negative are not are not coming here it means you are going wrong please check the step and verify and then proceed it again okay means this there could be something wrong in this arrangement the encircled i have 3 plus 4 there is something wrong in that okay so you have to recorrect it correct it and then proceed the process further right so what i am saying to go on writing this please so further steps to be taken here uh, in these two you have to take common in these two you have to take common what is common in them tell please what is common in them in common 12 3 is common in them x is also and here left 4x and what's left here 1 only in that and what is common in them 1 only nothing common in one could be written in this 4x in this step in this step this term and this term always come same here so due to this technique whether both the terms come same here 
some student write them as same but their common is different here okay you have to just solve the questions with the uh, uh, greater efficiency is that clear guys now carry on this next please what is throughout common this term is throughout common so throughout 4x minus 1 is common we just will take x minus 1 so you may see this inside there the one factor this this uh, it's coming gx and it's coming qx you may see this we have broken the uh, quadratic polynomial into the two factors right now so what is there what is the degree of this quadratic here the degree of quadratic is 2 and how many factors are coming here 2 obviously so we just can understand this uh, a, a very analogy uh, say homology is between uh, uh, analogy is between there degree and the number of factors and zeros is also there later we will discuss in the next period but you may see the degree is equals to here the number of factors if possibly they are existing clear guys so well understood you what is the method to that i am telling uh, again to solve down this question you will solve this method uh, you employ this method okay but i am telling how to be broken this remaining terms is there uh, uh, see that the factorization there is before you uh, I am talking about this. Okay, the first question we have solved. This how can be broken? I am telling this. Okay, uh, look, it's very simple. You can understand. There is a. We can say, six is there, and six is also there. So it is thirty-six. Whatever coming, but this can be broken as a two into three, and this can be broken as a two into three. So how many factors are there? Two into three into two into three. From these four factors, we have to bring two factor. We have to make the two such that there some must come here middle term. This middle term is there, five. How can be broken? So three three together can be taken. Three three are nine, and four two two can be taken together. Four. Now set them. Nine plus four, thirteen is not coming here. Nine minus four, five is coming here. Okay. Nine minus four, five is coming. So it is arranged here. So this simple here means this to be broken here. Nine minus four. So in this place, what place please tell me? In this place, you will write it's a six x square plus nine minus four, and there x and minus six also. And further, you will solve this. This is the process of factorization. Is that yes? Can you solve this or not? Okay. See the next again. So what the next is uh, here is also this. I'm talking about this question. This question, clear? Two of x square. So two into Last term is the three, and here one is also there. Okay, so what is coming? Two, three, six. These three to be used here to bring seven. So two, three are six, and it is one. Okay, you can also try with this one into two. Okay, one into two, and three. So this can be arranged here. Okay, first is two plus three is equal to five. The middle term five not coming, and uh, three two three minus two one. The middle term is not coming. So this arrangement will not be proper. Now again, we'll see. Okay, you may see this is six plus one. What is coming here? Seven. The middle term is there. Seven. Clear. So it means this arrangement is very proper. How this could be done? A very simple it is. So this expression can be written as. This expression can be written as. Okay, uh, you may see two of x square and plus here six plus one and they are outside this. Plus three. You may see what the next step: two x square plus six x plus x plus three. All the terms are positive. This is the checker step. Here should be or two positive, two negative, or all positive or negative. But three positive, one negative, three negative, one positive cannot exist. Clear, guys? Understood you? Similarly, you can do the question number four also. Okay? You will solve your home assignment. Okay? The questions you will solve the question number. Uh, this question number this and question number this you will solve okay and the factorization of the cubic polynomial tomorrow i will tell you okay the greater use of the factor theorem okay guys thank you very much and i stay and will appreciate this and the listen these questions already given in your study mill with the some extra questions okay right now so understood you everybody how can be done this there so this is the uh, factorization by the factor theorem. The steps are here before. Okay, middle term. The algebraic formula we'll later discuss. Okay, right now, well understood. Thank you very much. Nice day.